Next, we're speaking to Dr. Martin Dayden. Uh, he's a board certified physician out of South Florida. He's been running a very successful medical practice um, for over 40 years. Hello, Marty. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you, AJ? I'm doing great as well. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with the COVID-19, as you know. Uh, with the crisis that's going on, we're all realizing that the best way to fight COVID-19 is really boosting the patient's immune system. We're wondering what is some of your recommendations about boosting well, the immune system? One is taking care of oneself in general, like having a proper rest. Um, the sort of rest is very important, exercise, appropriate nutrition. Attitudes, very important to dealing with the stress of this, uh, this viral climate that we have. Um, the use of various herbs are, are helpful also. Uh, there's the use of angiographis, um, use of uh, astragalus, uh, anti-stress uh, herbs like ashwagandha, uh, the use of zinc to uh, prevent uh, viral uh, uh, activity is also in, important. Uh, there's also the use of various pharmaceuticals also in event of the condition uh, becomes symptomatic. What is the role of exercising uh, in a situation like this? Exercising improves the body's ability to uh, overcome disease. It's not only helpful for uh, dealing with viral disease is also very helpful for preventing cancer, heart disease, arthritis. So it's a uh, immune modulator that uh, nature has given us if we only use it. Uh, it's uh, something that is inexpensive and very helpful for many uh, of our bodily needs. It's also one of the best antidepressants there is. Exercise. What type of exercise would you recommend to some of the elderly patients who can't really do much? Well, for the patients that can't do much, uh, stretching would be good. Um, mild uh, exercise and that would resemble calisthenics, but not very vigorous. Uh, tai Chi, yoga. Uh, it's also helpful, Qigong, if they know how to do it. Uh, these are uh, relatively mild exercises. I would also consider using very light weights uh, to uh, keep muscle mass and, and strength up. Perfect. As far as uh, the vitamin C goes, uh, what's your thoughts on that, Marty? Uh, vitamin C has been shown to be antiviral. Uh, and it, its antiviral activity depends upon the amount that is used. When we're under stress, we need a lot more vitamin C than we need when we're not under stress. Uh, I've been recommending approximately one gram of vitamin C three times a day in this uh, uh, crisis that we have with the, with the COVID uh, virus. The uh, amount of vitamin C that's used if a person is a lot more sicker uh, would be handled intravenously. You could get a lot more uh, vitamin C in the body intravenously than you can taking it orally. The amount of vitamin C that can be given uh, in the COVID uh, uh, realm would be uh, oh, approximately 20, 25 grams a day. For treating cancer, it's, vitamin C has been given in doses exceeding 150 milligrams. Well, I'm sorry, 150 grams a day. Well, we spoke to a physician earlier who was recommending to take as high as five gram a day. But of course, you got to be cautious with some of the diarrhea and some of the GI side effects. And if that happens, all you have to do is just stop for a day or so, and then just titrate yourself back to a, um, a lighter dose and start over again, building up to that number. 
Yeah, titering is a, is a very good word. Uh, we find that the amount of vitamin C that's needed for optimal function and repair increases when we're under uh, duress, when we're uh, combating illnesses. Uh, and we need less vitamin C under uh, more serene and healthier situations. So the vitamin C needs change with the uh, challenges that we have to our health. Well, thank you so much, Marty, for joining us on this uh, beautiful uh, Tuesday afternoon. The weather is absolutely great. And we wish all the uh, audience out there good health, good health and happiness. And good health and happiness to you, uh, AJ. I want to commend you for the great job that you're doing in this uh, very challenging environment that we have. Your leadership is admired by many. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Thank you. You too.